What's up, kids? Welcome back to the channel. All right, I want to keep this video short and sweet. If you don't know who I am, um, just like you, another musician out there that will never stop creating. I actually write music for a kids' TV show. Here's a splash of that. It's in development, not on the air yet, but coming soon. Super fun show to write for. But this little video here is going to kind of show you what I do as kind of like how I work on myself as a musician. And I think if you do it, or at least take a look at it, it's gonna help you tremendously. And it's a lot of fun, even though it might not appear that way. But in that little intro you saw there, that musical intro, that was basically playing, you know, an E flat major triad in three different positions. And then I forced myself into soloing, or the little noodling part, just using the notes E flat, G, and B flat. It was hard, and I think I might have actually hit one note in that whole sequence there that was not from that E flat major triad. So let's just break it down really fast, take a quick look at what I did, and then I'll show you how you should work on it yourself to improve your skill set. All right, let's take a look at that now. All right, so first let me just show you the E flat major triad and the three positions I played it in. Of course, you can play it more than this, but I'm just gonna focus on using the G, B, and high E strings, all right? So I played, the first position I played is right here. All right, here's a chart over my shoulder how to do the fingering. So I've got B flat, E flat, G, all right? And save the notes when you're playing them. You're gonna, learn, you're gonna be so surprised at how fast you learn your fretboard, and it's amazing, so we've got B flat, E flat, G. That's the first position. Then I slide it up here and I catch E flat, G, A flat. And again, there's the chart over my shoulder that shows exactly where I'm fingering this on the guitar, right? And then I slide it up here and I've got G, B flat, E flat. So one more time. B flat, E flat, G. And we've got E flat, G, A flat. And then we've got G, B flat, E flat. All right? And just say those notes as you play them, and what you're gonna see is you're gonna build some awareness of your playing on the spot as it's happening. That's where it becomes really exciting, all right? So if we take a look at that track, I just played the three triads right here, E flat, I went, right? And then I walked it back down sometimes. Now you can loop this any way you want, and I, what I suggest is if you don't have a DAW or a recording system, just use your phone, use anything, you can get yourself playing this loop. So maybe just do, you know, four beats, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, walk it back down. And give yourself a little loop to noodle over, it. and then just practice playing some of the licks, all right, but stay just in those notes. It's really hard, it puts some constraints on you, but what that does is it forces you to learn or create new licks or new uh, you know, intervals that you wouldn't normally play. Because when you've got a whole scale, you can just kind of cut loose in, which is great, I love it too, but this is gonna keep you kind of focused in at the prize. So play the first position, say the notes. Remember, go slow and really look at the notes, see what you're playing. I'm playing a B flat here, B flat, okay? Now I'm playing an E flat, and now I'm playing a G. And maybe go back, G, and then E flat, and then B flat. Really commit those to memory. This will help you, when you learn your fretboard inside and out, every single note, where it is, and you know it within an, an instant, and then you know how to connect that within the context of playing, like on the spot, that's where becoming, that's where you kind of, your, your musicianship really ramps up a level, all right? And then it just kind of becomes second nature. Same thing, you know, each position, an E flat, G, A flat, go back, A flat, G, E flat. And we've got G, B flat, E flat, and then E flat, B flat, G, all right? And just practice doing some little, little grooves in there over your loop. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. And again, the reason I do this is, you know, I'm primarily a songwriter, but, I'm a musician and I want to improve. And remember, it's really, it's you against yourself. And I know there's so many amazing guitar players on YouTube and I think that's tremendous resource, but you need to start for this year, 2020, let's say we need to develop a laser focus, discipline. And I'm as guilty of it as everybody, you know? I go out, I buy tons of gear, um, I buy tons of plugins, for, but what I want to do now is I want to kind of, you know, whittle it all down and develop a laser focus, you know? So take this triad, take the charts I have, I'll put them on my website in the link below. You can download those, keep them, build a little book, and then go a step beyond and then seek out some other triads 
and then play over those, you know? And then what's really cool is if you keep yourself locked into the constraint of just playing the three notes, you know, when you noodle over your loop, it's gonna help you create new licks, but then when you add in the full scale, then it becomes really colorful and beautiful. All right, so like I say, never stop creating, and that's it. Peace, see you in the next video. Thanks for coming, bye.